The digital keypad is a great way to get access into your garage door without the need to carry a hand transmitter. Installation instructions are contained within the box. Just follow them, it's easy. But here's how to go about setting it up once you've installed it and how to enter your own security code. The unit operates two separate radio channels, so it can be set up to control two doors. The two channels can be accessed by either the left arrow, channel one, or the right arrow, channel two. Let's set up your pin code and we'll set up channel one for now. Now you'll need to do this quickly as the channel only stays open for six seconds between the buttons being pushed. If you're too slow, you'll have to start again. So press down and hold the zero button. Now press and release the left arrow. Now release the zero button and press one one, the factory set code, then press the left arrow. Now enter your new pin number. You can select up to eight numbers. Then press the left arrow. Now repeat, enter your new pin number again, and you should hear a long beep indicating the code has been changed and accepted. You're now ready to code the keypad to the door opener. Now you might need an extra set of helping hands for this one, depending on how far from the unit you've mounted the keypad. Always make sure you have a safe means of working at height, as you will need to comfortably reach the control panel on the back of the opener. Briefly push the learn button on the door opener and BU will appear on the panel. Now enter your selected code, followed by the left arrow. You're now ready to go. If you've got a second door and want to use channel two on the unit, then you simply repeat what we've done, but select the right hand arrow instead of the left to access channel two as you go through the process. The unit is designed to emit some tones when working. When each button's pushed, you'll hear a short tone. When the code is correctly entered and the signal is successfully sent, you'll hear a longer tone. If after entering your pin number, you hear five short tones, that means you've entered the code incorrectly, so just wait 10 seconds and then try again. And if you hear 10 short tones, it means your battery's getting low and you'll need to change it. 